This is number six. She's my sister. <coughs> this thing is alive? My sister is the greatest weapon ever made, and... Yes, go on. And with her power, I could eradicate my petrification curse. So what's the plan here? First, you have to promise me something. Hmm? If my sister somehow manages to swallow me up... My original self becomes lost. I'm afraid I may try to hurt all of you. And if that happens... No! Wait! Then I want you to kill me. You have to get him out of there, now! I'm on it. We're not gonna lose anyone else. Hurry! There's still time to save him! I know there is! Magic is the only way to damage this one. Stay your weapons. Such attacks will hurt Emil as well. How is magic any different? He is highly resistant to it. Then let's kill that thing with magic and get Emil out of there! It's way too quick! Shake your weapon. A physical blow would doubtless harm the boy. We must use magic to defeat this beast. Thank <laughs> you. 
You are right. I'm still alive. I feel my sister's power inside me. I think I can control my abilities now. Yes, we're all quite pleased. Now get out here already. Just a second. I can't... I can't see very well. Ugh. No, don't! Don't look at me! Neil, what's wrong? Stay back! through a lot. But my... my body... I can't stand to be with you when I look like this. Now what I tell you, we're here for you, no matter what. <laughs> Can you see my face? You... You look just like I thought you would. You look really cool. Right. I think I'm okay now. If this is how I look now, then so be it. I was terrified at first, but it's not all bad, you know? I have the magic I wanted, and I can use it to bring Kaine back to us. Emil. We should hurry. She's waiting. I sure hope seeing me doesn't petrify her. You know, in fear? I see this transformation has not stolen your terrible sense of humor. about something from my past. Maybe my mind has been confusing her with my sister this whole time. Anyway... Beast approaches. Oh, 
Oh, I know. must have. How did it even survive these past five years? Not gonna let this happen again. It dies today. My sword feels fire. It's not the blade but the skill of the user. Strike it down. That's a long time. Any luck with Yona? 
We are still no closer to finding her. We need a way to locate the Shadow Lord. By the way, this is for you. Is that a lunar tear? It's not as good as your grandmother's, but I tried. No, it's great. Thank you. Kaine waking from her long, petrified sleep. Meals unflagging kindness. Our reunion was a happy one, and we let it wash over us like rain. That is, until Devila and Popola had to go and ruin it all. Are you kidding me? You can't be serious! Please, try to understand. People are tired and scared, and... I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to bear the brunt of that. This is crap, and you know it! It's okay. We can sleep outside. No one's sleeping outside. You and Kaine saved this village, and now they want to run you out? People are afraid of us. And really, I understand. I mean, look at me. As long as you're still with us, I can deal with it. Right, Kaine? I'm used to sleeping outside. But... We'll see you later. Sorry about this. What is the matter? Kaine always sleeps outside. I never thought about that until just now. Never even occurred to me. Damn it. We should turn in. I didn't get much sleep that night. For the first time in my life, I hated Devil. For the first time in my life, I doubted Popola. But those feelings are pointless in the end. They said and did what they did for the sake of the village. To protect it from the horror of the Shades. Really, how can I blame Devila and Popola? In the end, I'm just as bad. Because I never once stopped to think about Kaine and Emil's situation myself. Sleep well? Sure. And yet your red eyes tell a different tale. Don't be so hard on yourself, lad. I need to go see Devila and Popola. Very well. <laughs> 